So you might be on iOS 26, the beta, and you might be trying to figure out a way to go down to the official version of iOS 18. Now, and there's ways to do this. I'll show you exactly how to do it. You will need a computer or a PC of some sort, and you will need a cable that connects your iPhone to your you know, Mac or PC, whatever you have. Keep in mind, if you didn't make a beta or make a backup of your iOS software before you upgrade it, then you probably won't be able to recover your data so keep that in mind. If you made a backup, then you can go through. But before downgrading, backup anything you no longer need. Even if you're on iOS 26, I would recommend making a backup of at least your photos. If you don't have enough photos storage, you can always make a full temporary backup of your iOS right now by going into your iPhone settings, going down into general right here, going into your portion at the bottom, which is transfer or reset iPhone. Click on, uh, you know, get started up here. And then you can make a backup temporarily. And I'd recommend even just doing this at the bare minimum. It's going to take a little bit of time, but just do this so then you can have at least somewhat of a backup. Maybe you can buy a different phone and just restore your data there and then upgrade to that later, like something like that. Now, when you're ready and you have all your information backed up, we want to go ahead and plug in our iPhone to our computer. Now, when we do this, we'll be able to see our iPhone right here and it's plugged into our Mac. Now, what you want to do here is you want to go ahead, once it's connected and you trust your iPhone to your Mac and everything, you want to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Now, you can do this by going through and doing following these exact steps. You want to go ahead and press and quickly release the volume up button, press and quickly release the volume down button, then you want to press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen pop up. So it's going to look like this, volume up, volume down and you want to hold this particular side button until your iPhone basically goes through and essentially restarts. So keep holding it down, and then eventually you'll see an Apple logo come up, and you wanna keep holding it down even past the Apple logo. So you still wanna hold it down even though it's in this particular page, keep holding it down. And then when you see the iPhone recovery page come up, then you can basically let go. It's basically this, now you can let go. So when you see this, what you wanna do is right here, you wanna go and allow it to connect. And then it's going to automatically pop open on your Mac, the information right here. Now, if this doesn't show up, you might have to restart it again. If your iPhone restarted and it went back to the home screen, you might have to go through and just wait until, you know, you have to try it again or something like that. Now, when you're in this page, you can go ahead and put your iPhone down. And what you're going to wanna to do is you wanna click on the restore option, which is right here. So right in the middle of the page, click on Restore iPhone, and then you're going to be able to see a little pop-up come up. Now, if you click on Restore iPhone, and for some reason the Restore iPhone isn't necessarily working, you do have a secondary option, and that is by actually downloading the IPSW.me file, or IPSW file, to actually go ahead and manually install iOS, the latest version, on your iPhone. So you can do this by going to a website called IPSW.me. Now on this website, which I'll leave linked down in the description, you wanna choose the iPhone portion, which you have right here. So tap on the iPhone portion right there, and then you wanna choose the iPhone that you basically have. In this case, I have an iPhone 13 mini, but you can find the iPhone that you basically have as at this point, and you'll be able to see the latest and greatest iOS version right at the very top. It's a pretty big file. So what you can do here is you can tap on that IPSW file, and you want to find the download link, which is usually right at the bottom, and you'll be able to click on download, and you'll be able to download that IPSW file. Now keep in mind, this is a very large file, so it might take some time to download. So go and give it a few moments, let it completely download down, and in the meantime, you can just wait and just you know, charge up your iPhone. Once this file is downloaded, we want to make our way back over into our files application. So make sure your iPhone is plugged in, files, iTunes, whatever you have, and you're, you want to navigate to this site, right? This page where you see check for update and restore iPhone. What we want to do here, you can see my iPhone is plugged in right here. We want to, once that file is fully downloaded, we want to basically click on the, if you're on a Mac, you want to click on the option key while clicking the restore iPhone button right here. So you have to click on option, hold down option while clicking this. I think if you're on Windows, you click the shift key and click on there. But on on Mac, you click the option key and then you click on restore iPhone. When you do that, it says find my iPhone must be turned off. Okay, so you might want to have to turn off find my iPhone before continuing on. 
And you can do this by going into your iPhone settings right here. You can search up Find My. You can type in Find or Find My just like this. And then you can go through and disable it just by going up into here. And you can disable Find My iPhone. You might have to type in your passcode. But go ahead and disable Find My iPhone. And go ahead and type in your passcode right there. And then Find My iPhone will be turned off. So now you'll be good once again. So now let's try it again. Hold down Option. Click on Restore iPhone. And you want to navigate to that particular IPSW file that we had just downloaded. So you might have to go inside of your downloads folder, downloads file, you know, wherever you just went to. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and basically double click on that IPSW file. When we do that, it's going to start basically going through and it's going to start basically restoring our iPhone based off of that file that we just downloaded. So you can go ahead and do it this way. That's also another way you can do it. You can also put your iPhone on restore mode. You can also re you know, restore your iPhone that way as well. So those are just a few kind of different ways of going about doing it. So now you just have to give your iPhone just a little bit of time, let it go through and just restore. And that's essentially all you're going to have to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.